Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. This is F Expression broadcasting you live on YouTube, and this is Forex Trading Course 101. What are we trying to do here, everybody? We are trying to build the three pillars. Pillar number one, we are trying to build a strategy and or a system. Pillar number two is the risk management. We are trying to learn about risk management rules, how risk management affects our strategy and our system and the big one the psychology part we are trying to learn how psychology works right how psychology affects our risk management decisions strategy decisions and let me see am i streaming yes i am okay and talking about psychology everybody what do champion beginner traders say champion beginner traders say I am not going to live and die on a trade by trade basis and of course this is a quote from Mark Douglas and I have my own quote here on the left when the market scares you don't be afraid to do the right thing and what are the right things to do everybody follow the strategy follow the rules listen to FX passion you know <laughs> all of this kind of stuff and we are trying to do this everybody with these modules right basic module beginner module intermediate module advanced module so if this is your first time everybody please go back to the Dukas copy YouTube webinar page and start to watch lessons from the lesson number one basic module what is market structure okay and remember 90% of traders lose money in the forex market worldwide and the webinars are not trading or investment advice the webinars are for educational purposes only don't trade with money you cannot afford to lose and for homeworks or questions you have my gmail contact my skype contact and you can follow me on no no instagram anymore but the trading view Teacher Zuelius, how are you? Zuelius, you are a boss, teacher, mentor, right? That being said, everybody, let's jump to the charts. And today's lesson is support and resistance and pivot points in extensions and retracement. Tari, hello, question, sure. CTB counter trend line break of candle closed above below trend line, does this concept body of candle close above apply to all patterns yes example structure Fibonacci still body of candle close or range weak that validate the trading pattern so one more time great question it must be the body not the candle the body and the answer is yes okay the answer is yes Tari whatever you know like here right and let's draw a Fibonacci too right Fibonacci something like this you know retracement right and when it breaks the counter trend line break it must be the body closed body not the weak it must be a body okay the weak is not enough so counter trend line here counter trend line here counter trend line here okay hello expression what happened to your Instagram? sl i'm going to be very honest with you i don't have time my friend i don't i don't have time it's too much you know in youtube and instagram and p i don't have time you know i don't have time everybody believe me i would like to share more show you more do more but i don't have time also the teaching part you know it's less and less and less you know I'm trying to do my best you know teaching as much as I can but if I teach too much then the trading business goes down make sense not to talk about Instagram uh, I, I even don't have a Facebook you know I had it two years ago and then I just cancelled it and it's too much work you know make sense I don't have time everybody you know I'm sorry you know but I don't have time you know 
but I chose to move from Instagram to TradingView because TradingView is a community of traders and Instagram is just a social platform, you know? You have everybody there on Instagram, you know? Like drive truck drivers, uh, airline pilots, you know, medical doctors, dentists, you know? So TradingView is a more appropriate community. Make sense, SL? Does this make sense? Tari, did I answer to your question that the answer is yes? But it must be a body of the candle. Okay, everybody, if there are no other questions, yesterday we were talking about Euro Dollar. Let's delete, delete, delete. I'm going to delete a few things, everybody, here. Give me a second. Delete, 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 delete. This is from the previous lessons. Delete, 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 delete. And I'm telling everybody, you know, take advantage of education now that we are still in the pandemic, you know, because this year is going to be over, hopefully, and then I'm going to have even less time to give education, to give courses, you know, to teach. Understood. Hello, Allah. How are you? Fibo A break break need closed candle body. No, this is a not. Great question, Tari. The answer is no. You don't need a closed body. You, you need whatever you know. It broke with one pip. Whatever body or week, the A of the Fibonacci. It's over. Okay. So let's find a chart NZD CAD. Okay, great. Delete, 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 delete. Okay, everybody. So we're continuing on building up the our understanding of probabilities. Hello, Long. How are you? How are you, Long? Hello. So let's continue building. Long, is this your first time with us? Or are you familiar with all the previous lessons? So everybody, we're continuing to building our knowledge base. So support, resistance, pivot points and extension in retracement. Okay, so another lesson. This is structure. You know, let's do it like this. This is structure. So this would be a down extension. And this would be a down retracement. Okay. And the lesson today is whatever the case, you know, support, resistance, and pivot points. Okay. And those pivot points and support and resistance levels are not the same meaning they don't have the same force everybody okay they don't have the same force some of them are stronger some of them are not that strong okay this is the lesson today. We are trying to understand more and more and more. I am fine. Long, are you a beginner, a trader, or are you with us? I'm telling to everybody, you know, if this is your first time with us, please go back to the Dukascopy YouTube webinar page and start to watch the lessons from the lesson number one what is market structure okay if not it's I mean you're still welcome you know <laughs> don't worry but sometimes the things get complex you know oh it's too complex to understand everybody does this make sense to you that not all pivot points and support and resistance levels are equal by force okay so 
trading concept trading concept and in the meantime everybody you can type in the chat the currency pair that you want to check we're going to address theory first the live market next okay what currency pair what time frame do you want trading concept not all support slash resistance slash pivot points are equally equally strong I begin from 2017 in crypto market wow lucky you I am late to the party long lucky you I envy you my friend I was late to the party you know I was I didn't study cryptos I didn't believe you know to be honest I didn't believe too and today I'm scratching my head man you know I was late I was late you know so congratulations believe me I am you you know I would love to buy Bitcoin at three dollars or whatever thirty dollars you know whatever now it's a different story you know now it's a different strategy a different study right okay everybody trading concept not all support resistance and pivot point are equally strong why not why not right why not what's the logic behind this why not why not what is the logic behind this because the sauce because the extension is bigger slash longer than the retracement retracement I wish I can I can learn as soon as sure me too me too believe me okay everybody so trading concept not all support resistance and pivot point are equally strong why not what is the logic behind this because the extension is bigger and longer than the retracement okay so it's a it's a game it's a game who is stronger you're going to understand let's go step by step if not it's get too complex you know so it's a game it's a game between between bulls and bears it's a game of strong strongness I hope my English is correct if not everybody tell me this is not the correct English it's a game of strongness between bulls and the bears okay what does this mean when the market was falling down you know making lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs and lower lows lower highs you know those pivot points what would be the color yellow orange green green when the market was falling in an extension like in here NZD CAD weekly chart like in here NZD CAD weekly chart like in here NZD weekly chart you know not of not all of these pivot points are equally stronger make sense everybody and why is this important well as a beginner trader when it's time for the extension to come along we should not fear the pivot points or the support resistance levels on any time frame make sense because as you can see here on the chart when it's the when the retracement is over right when the retracement is over let's color code this in black 
when the past retracement is over something like this you know and would be something like this one more time when past retracement is over and it's time for the market to go into an extension today in this example it's a down wave down market structure and the decay you know then we should not fear the support resistance and pivot points make sense no i'm not saying that you should not be careful about timing i'm just saying that we should not fear because those pivot points everybody in an extension you know they have a different force you know it's the same let's let's take this one in consideration everybody you know and what would be the color violet there you go this violet pivot point everybody in a retracement you know it's still it's the same pivot point on the same chart you know but this pivot point in a, in a retracement it has a different force than where it ha it was in an extension wow passion can you repeat please yes sir yes sir let's go down to the nitty gritty right the violet the violet pivot point doesn't have the same force when the market was in an extension compared to when the market is in a retracement I hope my English is correct everybody the violet pivot point doesn't have the same force when the market was in an extension meaning the market is making lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs you know and then the market finally starts to make retrace right higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows you know it's just an example is just an example but this same so here is the learning part everybody it's the same pivot point on the chart it's the same pivot point when you are looking at an extension and you don't see the future oh my god the market is approaching oh my god or this would be an entry oh my god you know this is an entry oh my god so this it's the same pivot point so this is not the same when it comes to the relationship between extension and retracement okay other than observing change in the short-term trend rent is there any other ways of knowing the end of retracement good news for USL no no this is the good news okay some trader is going to tell you yes because when the market is going to change the short term trend and the MACD is going to cross or the uh, stochastic or the RSI or the or the moving average crossover is going to happen you know but still you must have a change in the short term trend you know so the answer is no okay the answer is no don't rely on indicators everybody if you don't have a change in the short-term trend I'm telling you you are going to lose doing like this hopefully not demo account beginner traders okay if the MACD says you buy or sell if the stochastic if the super mega robot JP Morgan Chase you know is telling you to buy or to sell and there is no, no there is no change in the short term trend 
don't obey the robot or the expert advisor but then why I would buy it exactly <laughs> you know exactly why would you buy something that you cannot use make sense okay everybody so the valid pivot point doesn't have the same force when the market is in extension compared to when the market is in a retracement so next question everybody where is the pivot point stronger in an extension in this example or in a retracement where is the pivot point stronger what do you think everybody where is the where is the pivot it's the so this is the learning part talking about awareness you know you need to get conscious you must understand that this is the same pivot point the same pivot point on the daily the same pivot point on the one hour two hour four hour chart the same pivot point on the weekly and the same pivot point on the monthly where is stronger is it stronger in an extension or is it stronger in a retracement everybody retracement anybody else is anybody here who says extension is anybody here thinking don't be shy everybody there is no right or wrong we are here to talk is anybody in here who says oh no it's stronger than an extension retracement 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 yes okay now so is this good news for you everybody or is this bad news for you how how, we, how you understand this that it's stronger in a retracement so is this knowledge helping you is this good news for you or is this bad news like like okay so what now so how is my trading going to improve retracement retracement yes everybody okay and what are the bulls and the bears doing in a retracement everybody what are they doing there they are fighting for control right in a retracement it's similar to the Fibonacci you know it's similar to the AB of the Fibonacci's you know it's similarly to the AB of the Fibonacci inside the AB the bulls and the bears are fighting for control in an extension you know when the retracement comes it's still the same the bulls and the bears are fighting for control make sense everybody so if you learn today that not all pivot points are equally strong and if you learn that when a retracement comes in this example a down retracement could be an up retracement on a different currency pair you know then you would and you understand that the pivot points and support resistance are stronger you know then you are doing great congratulations to you so moving forward next question so if if pivot point support resistance are stronger in retracement how should i perceive this pivot point down here strong or not strong everybody retracement yes sir strong or not strong everybody how should i understand and perceive talking about awareness this pivot point down here everybody give me a second
Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> not strong, not as strong. Yes, knowing that it will be bounce, it raises its an edge. Okay, so let's learn something, teacher Zuelis and teacher Tari. Why it why it's not strong? Why it's not strong anymore? I'm not going to give you an answer. I'm going to ask you a question. Why why in your opinion it's not strong? Now what? <laughs> All right. Why it's not strong? Don't be shy, you know. And then we're going to check the market. You're going to see how this works. Why not? It's not that strong, okay? Why not? And remember everybody, I have a 20 seconds delay on the chat. Not stroke, so extension waves continue. Okay, how do you know that we are in an extension? During the extension price went through it's easily. It's a new extension. Okay, so in theory all of you are right. In theory all of you are right, but what confirms the extension everybody what confirms the extension so extension retracement extension retracement extension and extension retracement extension what confirms American airless stocks jumps. Wow, good news, good news, everybody. We are almost there. The world is going to be back to normal with some changes, of course, right? So, everybody, we are here right now, okay? And you are saying, well, because in an extension is going to go, you know, smoothly, right? That's true, that's true, but we are here right now what confirms the extension you know it doesn't matter it could, it could be like this you know it really doesn't matter you know what confirms the extension you have three different market behaviors everybody which one is confirmed number one number two or number three which one confirmed Just give me a second. You have the first example, click click number one. You have the second example, click click number two. And you have the third example. Which one is confirmed? I'm going to give you a help. Only one of those three is confirmed. Only one. change in the short -term trend the change in the short -term trend it's an indication everybody remember we learned the rules what confirms a trend or structure only one is the correct answer which one is the confirmed everybody Which one is confirmed? Number three. Number one, no tari. No. And this is a beginner mistake, everybody. Number one is not confirmed. You know, and even number two is not confirmed. Only okay, one more time. Only when the market makes only only when the market makes a new lower low this is so only only and only then the next extension extension 
is confirmed is confirmed only when the market makes a new lower low only and only then this extension is confirmed number one no remember everybody 25 25 25 we are at 75 no number one not correct the number three is the correct answer everybody this structure this downtrend this market wave is confirmed and here is the rule okay yes 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 exact no no you're right you're right Tari you're right so here is the kicker you're right remember when I'm telling you don't mix apples with bananas you are not wrong Tari you're, you're right don't confuse the end of a retracement Tari you are not you are not wrong I'm just trying to explain to you don't confuse the end of a retracement with a confirmed extension those are two different trading areas hello Russell how are you don't confuse Tari you are not wrong you're correct but I'm telling you don't confuse end of a retracement the rules still apply you have a change in the short term trend you know most likely this is an indication that we are in the end of retracement but don't confuse end of retracement with the uh, unconfirmed extension you know because when we lose as beginner traders the market is going to do something like this in the number one and is going to do something like this in a number two Can you relate to this price movement everybody it happens all the time especially on the smaller time frames so don't confirm this circle yes we have an end of retracement but this end of retracement it's not a confirmed extension yet makes sense everybody can you understand this those are two different trading areas if you would trade here it's different if you would trade here those are different trading areas everybody oh it's all the same no it's not all the same if you would enter in the circle you would have one kind of probability if you would enter down here you would have a different kind of probability there is no right or wrong but those are different trading areas okay and don't confuse apples with bananas we are talking about support resistance pivot points in extension and retracements so everybody just slowly okay slowly do we agree that number three is the correct answer number three confirms the extension okay this is why do we have, is anybody in here who thinks no you know i don't believe you know or i don't agree or i don't think like this everybody do we agree number three is a confirmed extension okay it can be an end of retracement but it's not a structure retracement yes it is a structure retracement okay so those were the previous lessons everybody let's go back 10 hours back extension retracement extension everybody if it's confusing for you go back to the Ducas copy YouTube webinar page okay find structure and find the short-term trend find those lessons find the lessons of, of the short-term trend and find the lessons 
of structure and find the lessons of the market wave whoops I just cancelled find those kind of lessons and start to learn again and remember those are three different stories background color okay those are three different stories background color okay so when is really saying it can be an end of retracement but it's not a structure retracement yes it is this is structure you know all of these the big quadrant is structure this is a defined structure extension retracement extension make sense what is not a structure this is not a structure this is not a structure and one relates to the other okay Zuelius yeah maybe I didn't understand you number two it is a st so it's okay not to be too complex you know it's a, maybe it's a matter of vocabulary okay but all of this it's part of structure okay make sense long yeah I agree with you it's not about agreed you know it's it's I'm trying to you know I'm trying to figure out if we understand what we are talking about you know it can be end of retracement but it's not structure it it is you know it is structure retracement makes sense everybody so when you start right when you start now as well as you are not wrong either you know when you start and you have just like this then you are correct but if you had previous if you had previous structure so this is a structure retracement we are looking at the same thing as well as can you see it's a begin of consolidation yes now this is a different story okay moving on on the class everybody because number three it's the only correct answer of a confirmed extension and only and only when the market makes a lower low structure this is going to confirm the extension this means that in a down retracement all the pivot points are strong okay all the pivot points are strong what does this mean this means that you need to pay close attention to what is going to happen in between because when the retracement comes it's really common sense right when the retracement comes bulls and bears are fighting for control okay everybody here bulls and bears so you don't need to be scared in an extension you know but when you are a retracement you pay attention to what is happening okay so the same pivot points the same support resistance levels are stronger in a retracement now let's go to the chart and we are going to move on the daily chart daily chart okay and so exit full screen file open let me see nzd cat let's go on NZD cat I hope I have the pivot points on the chart if not I need to do it one more time 
and the decay, man I don't have it I don't have it so okay still okay not a problem still okay monthly just briefly right so this would be one this would be one this would be one what else this would be one what else this one maybe this would be one this would be one and I believe we are <coughs> one more one more here and and one more here right one more here okay so let's go on the daily chart everybody let's go on the daily chart well we don't have this one because we don't see the future right daily chart and extension retracement extension right okay we are here everybody extension okay this was the lower low okay and we are here we are here this is the daily chart question number one everybody do we agree that the market changed the short term trend it's not making lower lows or highs but it starts making higher highs higher lows everybody do we agree that the market is not making any more lower lows, lower highs, but it's making higher highs, higher lows. Do we agree, everybody? Do we have a change in the short term trend? Yes, okay, so now the extension is over the retracement started right so i need to pay attention in the change in the short term trend at the pivot points okay and maybe not go long okay just maybe so what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a trend line, you know, and I'm going to monitor this trend line, okay, now, did the market react it here, do we have a reaction to this pivot point, everybody, it's the same pivot point that extension broke through, so do we have a reaction here? yes 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 okay do we have a reaction here the market hit the ceiling and react and the next question do we have so do, it's really not that difficult you know question number one do we have a reaction yes number two do we have a change in the short-term trend in the same way we spot the change from a extension to a retracement we need to spot a change from a retracement to an extension right so number one did the market react number two do we have a change in the short-term trend do we have a change in the short-term trend and if you're a complete beginner everybody it doesn't matter the time frame the daily chart is just an example you would monitor high to low low to high high to low low to high so do we have a change in the short-term trend yes the market reacted question number two do we have a change in the short-term trend not yet great here is the question should i buy the market no change in the short term trend should i buy the market 
can I buy? Yes, I can, but should I? Should I buy? Should I make some pips going long? Maybe, you know, there is no right or wrong. Just a question. So not yet, right? Okay, let's see what is going to happen. The market is going to move, broke through. Do we have the reaction again? Do we have a reaction? To the same pivot point? Low, too high, too low. And the same quest. I'm going to go, okay, everybody? I'm going to go. I'm going to give you the answer because the time is ticking away, okay? So the market reacted, didn't have a change in the short term trend. You know, we went through, the market reacted, didn't have a change in the short term trend. You know, the market reacted. So you know, low to high, high to low, low to high, high to low, you know, now here, the market reacted here, do we have a change in the short term trend, everybody? The market reacted here. Do we have a change in the shortened trend? Everybody? Well, you know, passion, can we buy, should we buy on the higher time frames would be a yes, why not? You know? But this story changes on the one hour time frame 15 minute chart. If you are not skilled enough, everybody, a retracement is going to eat you alive. On the daily chart, you know, you would have a, you would have a lot of trends going up on the one hour chart, 15 minute chart. So can you buy, should you buy, would you buy, why not, you know? But one more time, don't mix apples with bananas. It would be a no on the 15 minute chart or one hour chart if you are not skilled enough so yes here it changed okay now I cannot see I don't see the future right I don't see the future okay so we don't have time to talk about percentage risk everybody but stop loss above the structure right this could be any time frame stop loss above structure you know and just enjoy the ride okay so what is going to be different this time everybody in an extension you know look what I'm going to do look now what I'm going to do in an extension you know counter trend line break okay stop loss always in the same place counter trend line break this one counter trend line break oh but it's at the pivot point right our mind is going to oh but it's a pivot point we are going to have a reversal don't be scared in an extension let's move on counter trend line break oh but i mean i mean the pivot point don't be scared it's an extension counter trend line break here too oh but it's at the pivot point don't be scared it's an extension counter trend line break here too until until you know until the market change let me check let me check let me check if okay so look in here everybody man if you can grasp this lesson everybody you are going to be much 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 in front so the market retraced in here are we in a confirmed extension? 
look watch this lesson everybody five times okay not two times watch this lesson in particular five times do we have an end of extension yes or no remember the three charts not in here remember the one two three we're talking about what is confirmed what is not confirmed before do we have a confirmed extension yes or no yes or no is this a confirmed extension like okay the extension is over no 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 is the market going against me is the market going against me look look at my entries is the market going against me question number one very good we are learning something today question number one are we in a confirmed extension no look at my entries am i still in the game or was i stopped out did i lose no exactly counter trend line break oh but we are at the so this is another pivot point down here because we don't see the future counter trend line break oh but we are at the pivot point don't get scared we are in a down extension now of course of course i need to monitor this one this is the structural low so this is the area that i need to pay attention you know counter trend line break counter trend line break counter trend line break don't be so oh, but i'm at a pivot you don't see the future right you don't see the future and you are saying oh my god you know this is not the market is going to hit the pivot point and it's going to retrace and sometimes sometimes it does sure but don't be scared we are in an extension and down you go now see everybody the same pivot point you know and it's a skill you know this would scare the hell out of everybody beginner traders talking me too right but nonetheless if i just have enough knowledge and understanding of the market wave that the market must extend that it must retrace you know and and obey the rules don't put the stop loss on the candlestick formation talking about trading structures and the market wave okay don't mix apples with bananas you know i would go smoothly right now when the market hits a lower low makes a lower low now the story changes why because i am conscious that the market must retrace i am conscious that once the market does it comes to this point i am conscious that the market made a lower low the structure or the down market wave is confirmed and sooner or later another retracement is going to come wow right this less it was this is this lesson worth your time everybody is this lesson worth your time if this is your first time most likely not because it's too complex to understand right that's why i'm telling you go back to the dukas copy youtube webinar page and start to watch lesson number one what is market structure and you know so 
what can we well you can still short the market once the extension is confirmed you can still short the market but extension it raise extension you know you can still short the market everybody but the stop loss is not up in here anymore where is the stop loss now we need to adjust the ticks right okay so but just remember you are going to have a loser for sure why is that how do you know well a retracement must come so just blindly okay counter trend line break counter trend line break and see everybody this was then the big this was the big picture you know this was the level when the market confirmed the so let's delete a few things delete delete whoops not this one So this was the level of the, when the market confirmed, right? This was the level of the confirmation of the next extension, right? And then the next retracement started here. Make sense, everybody? So from here, the stop loss is not up there anymore. You know, it should go here. And the same goes, you know, it's all, it, it, everybody, if you are going to re-watch this webinar, please do it, and you would study the charts, you would see that it's always the same, always the same, it's always the same, always the same behavior, always the same behavior, you know, and it's an emotional skill. You know, not to panic. Makes sense, everybody? It's going to be always the same, always the same, always the same. And here too, we are still in a down market structure. But yes, it was a deep retracement. I was shorting the market in here. I'm still in the game. I was shorting the market in here. We had a change in the short term trend. You know, false breakout. I'm still in the game. My stop loss is up in here. And if the market stops me out, I'm going to lose 1%. Am I going to cry? <laughs> losing, losing 1%, you know, am I going to cry? Of course not, right? Make sense, everybody? Okay, Monday. So we let. What is today? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Next level number two. If you want to trade like a professional, learn the mindset and the heart set of the professionals. Ask for the forex course two o two. And why, everybody? If you've been around the block for two, three, four years or more, and you are not making it this course is a must okay it's a must why because if you're been around the block three years four years five years and not making you are not stupid you know but you are lacking some specific knowledge everybody so it's not your fault you know oh i'm not making it i'm stupid you are not you are not believe me it's not uncommon to have six years six years uh, six years seven years traders not making it but you are lacking some specific knowledge and this knowledge is your next level make sense but the forex score choo -choo is not for the beginner trader everybody you must pass over the forex course 101 okay that being said everybody stay strong and trade with passion tomorrow i'll be i will be on the road everybody see you back on wednesday Okay, see you back on Wednesday and